Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this one, I will be basically cleaning up this wiring mess that I have created by adding all these accessories over the years. And as you can see, the sag up in the front, uh, that is due to the weight of the wires going back and forth to the battery, to the accessories, and eventually up to the handlebar for the switch itself. I have to call out this rookie mistake I made was, as you can see, the wires at the very bottom that are sagging, um, one of them actually made contact with this rocker cover while it was hot and that led to a short circuit. So hopefully you don't make the same mistake as I did, you know, and uh, make sure the wires are tucked in underneath the gas tank and it has plenty of clearance between the rocker covers. And as you can see, you know, I have too much going on at the handlebar here. Uh, the phone charger itself, uh, this switch is for the fog lights that I've installed. Uh, this one is for the hazard flasher lights. So my ultimate goal is to clean all this up, at least get the fog light and the hazard switch out of here. And my game plan is to actually mount that on the side of the switch box itself. And hopefully I can splice the charger cable into the horns that are recently installed, you know. So that will basically eliminate all this traffic going back and forth uh, to the battery. Technically, this left side box is for fuses and relays. And as you can see under the seat, you know, I have a relay installed for my fog lights and one actually routes to the lights itself and the second to the switch at the handlebar. So hopefully my game plan is to, you know, wrap all that up into that side box and by doing so i will be installing this toggle switch uh, from the inside of the box that will do a couple things you know it will eliminate the routing of the wires back and forth to the handlebar uh, it will actually uh, decrease the length of uh, from the relay itself to the box Right, guys so let me give you a quick rundown of what i did before i put the tank back on um, so as you can see 
everything should have plenty of clearance now. Uh, I actually did not zip tie this spark plug wire, um, just in case if I have to replace the spark plug, uh, you know, I don't want to cut this wire while the tank is on and try to reinstall that zip tie. I might actually, you know what, install another probably zip tie right here. So it's actually tucked back up, but uh, that way I could still replace this. Another thing to be mindful of as you're tucking in these wires, um, these hard ABS lines as they route all the way to the front and they need some wiggle room as you turn the handlebar, um, you can see that front part uh, is moving up and down you know so we don't want to clamp them so tight that it doesn't have a wiggle room as you're turning left or right so technically now there should be only one uh, positive and negative being routed to the front to the lights itself and there shouldn't be a secondary wire going to the handlebar um, however for the horns we do need a separate wire uh, to be going to the positive terminal so the negative terminals i kind of freed them up i have grounded them um, on the frame itself seen before uh, i had the relay up here mounted under the seat now all of that is tucked in into this toolbox and this is where the sleek part comes in uh, this sweet toggle switch on the side now that's just a matter of flipping that up and down and the moment of the truth As I wanted uh, to clean up this handlebar, um, as you can see that ugly switch is gone. Um, I might actually take this uh, phone mount out too because I really don't ride this far enough to in need of a GPS uh, or anything. So, but in case if I do wanna keep it, um, instead of routing this back to the battery, I am going to splice the positive uh, to the wire directly from the horns going to the positive terminal and negative into the wire that is coming for the lights. Now onto this hazard switch that I have. Technically, this doesn't get routed. <laughs> All right, well, okay. So onto this hazard switch that I have. Technically, this doesn't get routed to the battery. Uh, it's actually a plug and play socket that is installed to the headlight. And my game plan is to actually find something really sleek and maybe install a push on and off button right here, uh, right, in, right on top of the key info meant. And I think they'll look pretty sleek, but uh, yeah, I'm st still debating. Uh, let me know. What do you guys think? Should I do that or or should I just take it out? <laughs>